In this Wix tutorial, let's take a look at how you can create a new site from scratch. So whether you're on your editor or you're in your dashboard or just your Wix first page that you log in, like your My Sites page, you can create a new site easily and create as many new sites as you want. From here, it's probably the hardest within the editor. What we would do is go up to the site dropdown up here, and then we can find a couple places down here where we can create a new site from a new template. So completely new, doesn't have anything to do with the site that I'm on. I can also duplicate the site that I'm on if I want to make different edits to it. Uh, and then you can transfer this site to ownership of someone else. So if you have another account and you want to take that site somewhere, you can do that. But we can create a new site here. Now I'm going to show you the other two spots. If you go to My Sites on Wix, or you just kind of hover over Wix and go to your dashboard, this might take you to the dashboard of the website that you were on. Up here, you can see in this dropdown all the different sites that you have. And you can create a new site from here or go to My Sites. So if you log into Wix, it usually takes you to all of your sites in this window here. And from here, you can create a new site from this big blue button right over here. So when we create a new site, it's going to allow us to choose a new template to start with, essentially. Uh, it'll try to narrow down the templates for you, basically. So like if you're looking to do, maybe it's a portfolio of sorts. In fact, you can even narrow that down even further as well. So if you are uh, looking for maybe a photography portfolio, maybe that's the type of site you want to create. You can hit next on that. And then it's going to allow you to name your site. Uh, so we're going to name this photo portfolio really quick. And from there, it's going to try to narrow down what you want to add to your site. So you want a portfolio? Good. That's already built in. And basically all of this is filtering templates. If you want other features on your site, you would check mark any of these boxes, hit next, and eventually we'll be getting to our template. We can get a custom built site or we can begin with a template. So what I would do is just begin with a template and take a look at all the templates that match those filters that I put in. So these are the results for photography portfolio. There's a lot of different results here. A lot of these are, they're all kind of built on the same editor. And so you can create all these sites and edit them, but these are great starting points uh, that kind of give you sort of like the creative starting point, if you will. So once you find one of these that you like, you know, maybe it's this one here, what you can do is view the site. So you can go in and like click around and view the site, or you can just straight up edit the site, which will attach this template to the site we just created. Now you can't change templates. It's, it's pretty hard to do. It's easier to just start from scratch like this. I do have a, um, a tutorial on the channel about how do you can change templates where you can like copy paste pages from one to the other. Uh, I'm not going to create any AI content right now. So we'll just hit X on that. And then the first thing that it's going to do is show you a little tutorial of like where everything is. So you've got all these buttons over here on the left hand side, you can see you can add elements and sections, you can add other pages in your menu design, you can adjust the total site design and add integrated apps if you have any business portion with this, which a photography portfolio probably won't touch the business side of this. You probably will touch the media side though. And you may touch the CMS, but you may not. So if I click out here, it's just gonna allow me to edit all this. Now I'm in a zoomed out mode. It's actually a zoom tool here in the upper right, so we can zoom in. And we can see how we can actually click and navigate through uh, some of these different sections. So if we click navigate on this menu, we can actually see in this pages drop down over here, we can navigate through the whole site. And so you can come in here and make your edits. Now this tutorial was about how to start a new site from scratch. And these are kind of dark, aren't they? Uh, this is how you can start a new site from scratch essentially here on Wix. And so this site is totally new and it's going to be in your my site. So if we click I've got a bunch of tabs open now. If we click the My Sites tab and we kind of refresh this page, we will probably see eventually that new site in here. It could be because it's not saved yet. So I can hit save right here. Yeah, so we'll, we can choose a domain once we save this for the first time, whether we use just a free domain for now, which I would, which is basically your username.wixsite slash whatever you want to name it, 
or you can connect a customized domain, whether it's transferring a domain from another uh, domain host or a domain provider, or um, you buy a domain here through Wix. So I would just save that and continue. So now I actually have that site saved and you can see uh, in my sites now, it'll probably show this site if I refresh this page. There we go. We got photo portfolio right here. So we have the new site now that we saved it and we can go and edit that. So you create as many of these as you want and these are all free. So you can work on these sites for free and you can come in here and add any media that you want and make any changes that you want here on Wix. And that's how you can start a new site from scratch.